Oh, that's a great throw right there, y'all. These guys have teeth like you couldn't even imagine, you guys. Watch him lure it. Watch him lure it. There he goes. The official name of this guy is going to be... Hang on. Let him freaking light one up. Oh, my God. What is going on, my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. I'm back at a spot that last time we were here was completely loaded with millions of fish. I'm gonna play that video right now. Last time we were here, I mean, there was millions upon millions of these little tiny pilchards. But the problem was, I had the wrong net. Guess what I did? I went to the store. Yes, I bought a $215 cast net right here because this is exactly what we need to catch those little tiny fish. If you look super close, you can see that mesh size, which the mesh is the size of the holes in the cast net. That is the right size to where we can throw this cast net and catch all of them. All of my other nets have too big of holes, which would allow the fish to swim right through and catch nothing. So I'm hoping we're gonna be able to catch a lot more fish than we did last time in just that little tiny aquarium net. And we're gonna take them back home to feed bolt our moray eel. And we're gonna drop one in the green moray eel bucket and we're probably gonna go ahead and feed those anglerfish too because I know they are hungry. So let's get all GoPro'd up, baby. Let's catch some fish. Check out this huge tide pool right here that is filled. I mean, this is about a foot deep here on high tide and then on low tide, everything that's inside there gets stuck. So if you think we should come back and make a video here, let's get 3,000 likes on this video and we're gonna find some crazy stuff inside this tide pool. All right, let's grab this brand new net. I've literally thrown it one time. Check this thing out. I mean, it is big, y'all. And as you guys can see, I can't even fit my fingers through the size of the holes, which is exactly what we want. Check out the size of this net, y'all. This thing is massive. I mean, especially when you throw it, this thing opens up to be about a 16 foot diameter, baby. This is a big old giant net that should catch us a lot of fish. Let's do it. As you all know, first order of biz, gotta get water inside of your bucket. Alrighty, there we go. Now it's time to throw the GoPro on and let's catch some fish. Who knows what it's gonna be? We might catch a freaking ginormous barracuda. I don't know, this net's very big. We have a lot of opportunity here. And let's make our way over to where all those pilchards were last time. I'm hoping they're still gonna be here. If not, I know there'll be plenty of other fish here. Okay, we checked the old spot where we saw all those pilchards last time. We didn't see any, but we're gonna start throwing this net around and see if we can get lucky. All right. Just like that, that's how you wanna do it. Now we gotta pray to God, pray to the gods that there's no sticks or rocks out there because that's an expensive net that I don't feel like ruining today. First throw. Got a stick. Here we go. I think I saw a school something there. Yeah, we got fish. I think we got fish, y'all. We got a lot. We got a lot. We got a lot. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what they, oh, they're glass minnows. Okay, these aren't the pilchards, but these are glass minnows. These will work. Man, are they small. I'll tell you what, they might be small, but it don't make a difference to them eels. I can guarantee you that. All right, look at all these guys flashing down here. We're gonna take them, put them as many as we can inside of the bucket, because we'll get a really, really, really crazy good live feeding out of these. All right, we got some little tiny fish here, guys. Now, these aren't the pilchards that we were catching last time. These right here are baby glass minnows. These things are super plentiful here. And there was a huge school there, and I finally, I threw the cast net, which I got extremely lucky that I actually got them, because these things are small. They can get through the holes of the net super easily, but we got our first batch of fish. Check, that makes me feel a lot better. And this is gonna be an awesome, awesome live feeding. Let's keep throwing the net, see if we can get something else. <sighs> That's a great throw right there, y'all. That was a 10 out of 10 throw, but do we have fish? You've gotta be kidding me. Oh no, we got fish, we got a fish. We got two fish. One fish, two fish. What do we got? Get out, guys. Where are you guys? I just saw you. Oh, there they are. I thought we had two. Yep, there we go. We got them both. One, two. Ooh, those guys are cool. Y'all check this fish out here. Take a look at that. A needle fish right there. Super cool fish. I mean, check out the greens on them. These guys have teeth like you couldn't even imagine, you guys. These are really cool fish, super plentiful here. We have another one inside the bucket that's just a little bit bigger. Look at that mouth going. Come on, snap for us. There you go. 
cool fish. I'm gonna get this one back, then I wanna show you the other one inside the bucket. Now check out this one. This one's a little bit bigger, and I think he's a little bit brighter in color. These guys are super cool. I don't know what the regulations are on these as far as keeping them. I don't believe they're regulated at all, but take a look at that fin right there. Some orange on it. Super cool fish right here. I'm gonna go ahead and send him on his way. See you later, buddy. Adios. Now my next video, I'm putting fish inside of the 125 saltwater aquarium. Now, if you guys want me to eventually put those needlefish in there, maybe we can get like a school of two or three of those little needlefish. I think that'd be really cool. Let me know down in the comments below. Right inside this piling here is a whole school of those little tiny minnows that we just netted earlier in the video. I mean, there is a ton of them in there. I'm not gonna go ahead and throw the net because it's between two pilings and we already got a good amount of those, but I wanted you guys to get a look at them underwater because I think they look pretty cool when they're all schooled up and trying to run away from the GoPro. But we're gonna keep tossing the net here. Fingers crossed we're gonna catch some more fish, but if not, we got enough fish to have a feeding video and we're gonna head home and feed some awesome fish. We're back home now. I also did take three pieces of plastic that I did see on that beach there. But we got our fish here and we have a hungry angler fish right there, sponge. As you guys can see, that top thing on his head that's sticking out like a little feather. Yeah, that's supposed to look like a brine shrimp and these fish, like the minnows, are supposed to swim right up to it and whomp. They're gone. So let's get some of these guys. Here we go. This should be pretty quick, you guys. We got him in. There's Mr. Sandperch. Literally the only Sandperch that we caught. And now look at Sponge. Sponge senses, oh my God, guys, there's food inside here. It's time to rock and roll. Now, if you watch that thing right there, right there on the top of his head, he's gonna start making that thing move around. And this fish right here is gonna swim whoop, and get eaten. Or if the fish decides not to swim towards Sponge, Sponge will slowly crawl along the floor all the way over there. What are you thinking here, Sponge? What's your plan of attack? You gonna start moving over that way? Yeah, you are real slow. I'm just a rock. I'm just a rock that's moving. You don't need to be worried about me. I'm just gonna move my way and look exactly like this rock right here and suck you down. All right, now, as you guys can see, Sponge has that little feather thing out that I was talking about. He sees that there's food in here, so he's trying to lure them in. He's basically fishing. Now, if these little fish don't make their way over to Sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and hand feed him one because look at him. He's big, he's round, and he's lazy. It's time to do the hand feeding here, y'all. Get ready for this. You guys can see Sponge is trying to lure the fish that's inside my hand. Watch this, see him? Look at the lure, look at the lure, guys, watch. Watch him lure it, watch him lure it, there he goes. There he goes, come on, Spongy. You want it, Spongy? Oh my God, oh my God, Sponge. Oh my God, Spongy, eat it. Eat it, Spongy. Oh, now Patrick sees there's food. Oh my God, Patrick. Patrick was about to light that glass minnow up. Patrick was about to light it up. We got Patrick right there on the back side, guys. Don't think he's gone. Now I did shut the filter off since it is a little low on water. I gotta fill this back up. And it's extremely loud when it's low. So, oh, Patrick's got it out. Patrick is luring these fish in. Come on, Pat. Oh, he might get swallowed right here. Oh! Are you kidding me? He just got dusted right there. Oh, now these minnows are pretty small for fish like this. Angler fish like to eat big things. So if I were to catch a big sand perch, something a lot beefier, oh, it would have been gone in two seconds. All right, up next on the board, we have a hungry emperor snapper. And just like that, there's one gone. And the trigger fish got the other, you guys. These guys are, oh, he's gonna get stolen. It's gonna get stolen. Oh my God, look at that guy. Oh, oh, the grouper. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Everybody wants it. All right, let's throw one more inside here for these guys. Oh, and it goes. It's right here on top of the water. He's in this corner. He's in this corner. Go, good God. He got it. Emperor Snapper just smoked it. Now we're gonna take the remains of these guys and throw every single one of them in the tank upstairs. So let's do it. Now, while we're up here, I think it's a good time to give you guys an update on the shark. And he's doing really, really well. I got him eating baby ghost shrimp and tiny pieces of shrimp as well. And we're gonna go ahead and name him while we're up here. The official name of this guy is gonna be Oreo. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, I hatched that shark egg out of an egg. Go check it out. It's an awesome video. One of the coolest videos that I made in a while. It was, uh, not many people can say they've hatched a shark out of an egg. But yes, Oreo is gonna be the name. And let me tell you guys what, he is thriving. All right, and now you guys, let's go ahead and get a big old scoop of these bad boys. Woo! Baby, that's a lot right there. Okay, I'd say these guys are hungry. Let's go ahead and toss them in. Oh my God, in they all go. I don't even know who to keep an eye on. We got the grouper, we got the puffer. Oh my God, look at the blue line! Holy crap, this is a freaking insane feeding. One of the craziest ones I've done in a while because we got so many fish inside there. Ooh, oh my God, the more just got one too. Look at Bolt, look at Bolt. The blue line is lit up like I've never seen him lit up before. He's, it's a feeding frenzy. 
It's a beating freaking frenzy. Look at the trigger. Look at the trigger fish. I love watching the grouper just explode on the top of the water. Hang on, let him freaking light one up. Oh my god! He is crazy, dude. He is absolutely out of control. Here goes Bolt. Oh, there's there's Spike getting some off the surface, guys. Oh, Bolt's gonna get one too. Look at him. Look at him. Holy crap. These guys are going nuts. Here goes the blue line again. This is freaking crazy. I think next time I gotta go get even more. Oh, Spike just lit that guy up. Oh, he's gonna light that one up too. Holy crap. I think that's the last of them right there. The Niger Trigger got the last one. I literally saw Bolt get like four or five of them. I didn't even, he was, they were just gone in seconds. Now I have two left inside here and I wanna take these and put them inside of the shark tank because this is good food for our little guy. All right, let's throw that in there. Now I don't know for certain if, okay, the Ras ate it. The Ras ate it. That was supposed to be for our shark here, buddy, but you decided to eat it. So now I know it's a bad idea to throw these guys in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that last one inside this aquarium. All right, this last one right here is brought to you by the fish guys. Who do you think is gonna get it inside this aquarium? Who's it gonna be? Drop your comments down below. Here we go. It's about to go in. Three, two, one. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, 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 and, and, oh, the blue line on. Oh no, he missed it. He missed it. It's still on top of the water over here. It's still in the corner. Come on. Who wants it? Somebody go get it. Somebody go get it. It's over here. Oh, Spike's on it. Oh, Spike just crushed it. That's it for him. Lights out. Lights out. Guys, that was an epic feeding. The 125 salt is all set up downstairs. We just need to let that thing cycle. You guys will be seeing all that in an upcoming video. All these fish are going to be going inside there and we're going to add more super aggressive fish. Banana more eel is number one on my list at the moment. Comment down below what other fish you guys think I should get. Thank you all so much for all the support. It means the world to me. Catch you all in that next video. Peace out.